Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to Space Engine. With the advent of planetary landings in many a space game now, I thought it time to have a look at one of the titles that has perhaps been doing it for the longest now. This is Space Engine, created by a lone Russian developer, Vladimir has done a wonderful job of this technology. Not only can you travel through space, but you can land on every stellar object in the game, whether that's a lonely asteroid or a gas giant, or indeed a planet like this one. And indeed, atmospheric planets do have an absolutely gorgeous appearance in this engine. All planets are on a one-to-one -one scale, meaning they are truly massive, and if you were to limit your speed, it would take you a significant amount of time to circumnavigate a single planet. Fortunately though, you can increase your speed to almost any speed you like. This allows you to leave not just a planet or indeed the local star systems, but to travel right across the galaxy, and indeed to leave the galaxy and head on out into the void toward many other galaxies as well. Space Engine then features an entire universe full of spectacular sights and some stunning planets. The arrival of all of the modern space games and space engines like this one is truly a dream come true for me. I grew up inspired deeply by anything associated with space and the fact that all these systems, all these planets, all these areas can now be so vividly simulated I find to be a deeply moving prospect. It's not hard to be awed by the sheer scale of this universe, and indeed it's only within our imagination or within a simulation like this that we could get so close to a black hole. And if you're fortunate enough to be able to experience this within virtual reality, it can very much start to feel like a waking dream. The burning question in the back of my mind always when I sit down with a space engine is when will be able to play a game that looks like this. Experiencing such a game has long been a desire of mine, right since early childhood, right since the very early days that I played my first Space Sims. Currently, there are no games out there that can hope to match the beauty of Space Engine in terms of its planetary environments. And although a few are coming close and a few are indeed on the way, it still seems that they are a long way off. Yet even so, they continue to be a tantalizing prospect. Yet, it's Space Engine here which for me continues to lead the way. Even absent any form of gameplay, it's a world, it's a universe that we can explore like none other. Indeed, it's our very own universe placed within our own hands to explore at our own will. And it's here that we can act almost as a hand of God accelerating in both time and space. And whilst Space Engine continues to remind me of the mysteries of the universe that exist out there far beyond our reach, perhaps in a small selfish way, it also reminds me of the games that were yet to reach. Game worlds of unrivaled beauty, of worlds without end, of unmitigated imagination. It's something that is starting to seem very much within reach. Something that any time now will become a very real possibility. For with the space games that are out there right now, as well as the ones that are coming in the immediate future, such a possibility seems to be dawning ever closer. Yet even when compared to those multi-million dollar projects, a lone developer seems to be way out ahead in terms of their universal and planetary creations. So, in terms of games within the space genre, the question for me is not whether a universe full of beautiful worlds can actually be created, because clearly it can. The question is whether or not such a game world can feature rich, deep and compelling gameplay in a multiplayer universe. And hopefully that's a question we'll have answered sooner rather than later. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.